Okay, uh, so this is just a very quick video to show you how to read in a geo package uh, into QGIS and then export it again. This is to solve this um, uh, bug that some of you may have encountered when reading the SCB geo package into uh, ArcGIS Pro. Um, QGIS doesn't have that problem, Arc does. Don't know why, um, but simply exporting the file again from QGIS solves the problem. Um, what we need to do, so this is QGIS, if you're not familiar with it, the basic setup is the same as um, most GIS programs. We have the main map window here. We have some processing tools over here and icons and tools up the top here. This will be different depending on what you've got installed. Everything works via plugins. Um, and here we have the layers over here, which is essentially the same as contents in, in Arc. Uh, but we need to read in a file. Um, we need to do that via um, a, a tool for reading in files. And we can access that either via the layer menu up here and data source manager, or we can simply press control L. Or if we look at this icon, we can recognize that icon there as being there as well. So to access it directly, just click on that and we get this window come up. There are lots of different uh, types of file you can access. Why they need to be separated like this is it's a good question. We could read in the geo package like this, uh, but actually let's just go to vector and we need to find the file. So we click on this here, click there, and that gets up a browse window. And what we want is our raw data, and it's from SCB, and it's this diesel file there. So we open that up. Uh, and now we've said which file we want. Now we need to add it to the project. So we click on add, and it's added to the project behind. You can see it there, click on close here. Here it is, that's the layer up there. We right click on that. And we go down to export, save features as, and then we want to save it as a geo package. There are lots of other formats, but we'll save it as a, as a geo package because that's what we want. Uh, and then we need to say what it's going to be called and where we want to save it. So again, we click on this little button at the side and we want to go to, yep, I'm in the right location. You can say I've done this before. Let's just do it again. I'll call that number two for lazy. And then we'll click on save um, and that's being saved uh, with this layer name that's an internal uh, reference for the file doesn't matter with the coordinate system uh, SWIRF 99 tm which is the EPSG code of 3006 more information perhaps than is necessary for right now um, and what we don't want is to add it to the map because we've already got it in the map and frankly we don't care we're going to close this project in a second anyway so let's just get rid of that click on okay and it's done it's saved, so we're, we're, we're happy there. If we open up a browser window and go to, yep, there it is, it's been saved. Now we can close this and we are done. So close the project without saving anything. 